Hey, are you learning how to channel but it's triggering anxiety? If you are experimenting with channeling and divining information from a higher source, a higher consciousness, or a higher resource, and it is triggering some kind of anxiety or stress or other emotions, I would ask you to kindly stop because that's not channeling anymore. Channeling, well, if you're trying to do conscious channeling uh, or trance channeling, you want to be unbiased. You want to remove yourself from any sense of ego that is affecting the way that you would normally interact with someone. I don't like onions, so I'm, whenever I channel, this channeling source comes forward in a way that says, I don't like onions. Well, that's coming through your own projections. If it is affecting the way that you are naturally tuning into your own emotions and over exerting those emotions, then that's not channel. At least it's not a very clear channel because it's getting a little bit too convoluted. So if you are experiencing those kinds of things, I kindly ask you to back off. You can take a bit of a rest. You can take a bit of a pause. You can seek more development. But in those moments, it would not be appropriate for you to channel for someone else or to, to channel for the collective or to channel information that is meant to be of assistance to someone else because you are still being affected affected by different kinds of human emotions. Isn't that exciting? We're all human. <laughs> Y'all got emotions.